Hi students, how are you? I think, I hope I, you all are doing good. Myself Sundram sir and I am going to give you lecture on a linear equation in two variable from the class 10th mathematics. Linear equation in two variable. What happened is this chapter two simultaneous linear equations are given in two variables to solve like uh, the standard equations are a1x b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 so two simultaneous linear equation is always given in every question and we have to solve this question so what are different methods to solve above equations the methods are first graphical method second uh, substitution method Third, elimination. Fourth, cross multiplication. So these are four prominent method to solve the linear equation in two variable. Okay. Now, if I talk about the solutions. If I talk about the solution, if I am going to solve the given linear equations, then what happened? Then naturally the solution is obtained and solution from x, solution for x and y is obtained. But there are two types of solutions. If you think there are two types of solutions are there. One is consistent and one is inconsistent. Consistent means a uh, have solution. Have solution means if you solve, then you can get the solution. And there two category are there. That is unique solution and infinite many solution. And for inconsistent means no solution means lines are parallel means lines are parallel if i talk about geometrically and what is the condition for no solution that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 what is the condition for unique solution it is intersecting line what is it in? it is intersecting lines and the condition is a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Condition is a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Okay. And for infinitely many solution. Condition is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. That is overlapped lines. Overlapped lines. Lines are overlapped with each other. So this is the actually the condition of the solution. And these are the condition. How can you identify the given system of equation has a unique solution, infinitely many solution, or it is no solution. If I talk about exercises in R.S. Agrawal or in NCRT, so one exercise is on graphical method. Uh, second exercise 
is on substitution. Substitutions and elimination method. Third exercise is on cross multiplication method. Fourth exercise is on condition based. Condition based of unique solution. Unique infinitely many and no solution. And fifth exercise is word problem. Fifth exercise is word problem. So this is overview of the exercises given in this chapter. This is overview of the questions exercises given in this chapter. Now, as I have already discussed the graphical method in the class, so I am going to focus on that. Graphical method. In graphical method, if uh, we first find solution set first find the solution set of given equation then we plot the graph of both line third if it is intersect at one point then it is intersecting line and these have a unique solution these have unique solution if lines do not intersect then they have they are parallel lines means no solution and last if lines are overlapped then it is it it have it have many solution it have many solutions so this is all about review of the graphical method i suppose that you might be knowing the how to plot the graph of the equation if you don't know then you must comment in uh, comment box on youtube channel okay then i can take another color, uh, another class on another video session on how to draw the graph of a linear equation if you don't know if you know then it is okay so how the things are moving in graphical method that i have already given to you thank you thanks for today's class